Go back over the lake district again. Uh, going up uh, place fell. Yes, again. But uh, I've got me uh, something there. Uh, so he's never been place fell before. mentioned the name change of the channel used to be Alan Metal Man uh, it's now Alan Metal Man hiking and wild camping a few people said like wild camping you've already done one yeah this year I will be doing a lot more wild camping and that like hence the title I think a few people were subscribed before expecting to see all sort of like heavy metal videos uh, you see a bit of that but uh, it's not exclusively that anymore so I've changed the name just so people had an idea what the channel was about. The Bordet House and uh, also a kind of little pull up there. But hardly a breath of wind which is nice because I say out in the sun you can feel the nip. First time I've done like a, a biggish climb this year, so I'm regretting all that uh, Christmas pudding and that like. Oh, we start the coming. See it all coming from the bottoms there, and he's saying you'll go down to your neck. <laughs> Say a bloody thing. <laughs> Hopefully, we might see something over the other side. Mist really coming down now. Lee is absolutely, I can't see him anymore there now. A good walk up. Tyrone walk up, I must admit, I've blown a bit. First one of the year. But enjoyed it. Uh, just hope I can get down now. The mist really coming in. So I'm going to have to zoom off because uh, before long, I won't be able to see me hand in front of my face. Oh, thank goodness the sun's starting to come out again there now. Burn the mist back. It's a bit dodgy there before, to be quite honest. Oh, what a difference the sun makes. <laughs> where was it at the top? We won't see all the lovely views. Not sure yet whether we're going to have a walk over Dangle Town or not. Uh, see when the sun feels like when we get uh, gets back down to Bordet House. Shame not to, in a way, especially if the sun's coming out, because it's, it's only about 15, 20 minute walk away. See what happens when we get down there. Well, hey, the sun's out. 
what a difference in temperature. It's a canny little pull up there. A lot easier coming down. Worth it to get to the top, but especially while camping. Too high up for me that. Well not too high up, too steep for me. Let's put it that way. Decisions being made by my son that we're not going to go over to Angletown. Not a canny day, but just off our back there. Across a little stream, path over to Angletown. Only about 50, 20 minutes, 25 max. Uh, well worth it. But I say a mist come back down again. And honestly, one minute the sun's out, then you see the mist rolling in. Within two minutes, it's unbelievable. I stopped once to take my jacket off. My son was out of sight, I couldn't see him. Couldn't see the path. This time of year, uh, if you know where you're going, fair enough. If you don't, and you see the mist coming in, and you're up high somewhere, you want to think about coming down pretty quick. <laughs> Son seems to have enjoyed it. His girlfriend bought Mark a GoPro for Christmas. So he's enjoyed using that. So you never know, we might see uh, another YouTube channel. Lee Metal Man. But this year, more hiking, more wild camping, more meetups with the other YouTubers. I'm meeting up with Chris Sale, 16th, 17th of February over here. So hopefully we get some good weather. Bry from uh, Northeast Wild Campers, I had an invite from him, Stu, an invite from him, and Chris from the MCM Outdoor Show. Uh, we're going to get together and do something with them. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> It'll be well worth it. Yeah.